velocity of money. Uh, so this one actually comes from traditional finance, believe it or not. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, um, it started uh, in the U.S. And the idea is, is to figure out the rate or the speed at which money is spent, not just money in general, but a specific unit of money meaning like that US dollar with serial number, blah, 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 X895. How many times does that dollar bill recirculate? Meaning how many times is it going from an individual to a merchant, back to a company, back to an individual? That's the velocity of money. When it comes to crypto, obviously that study can be much more interesting because you're able to trace, you have traceability of, of a single asset, especially when you talk about non-fungible assets. You're able to see exactly how that, how that kind of money or that asset flows through the system. So you're able to make a much more uh, exact measurement of the velocity of money. And proponents for blockchain and crypto are obviously going to say that the velocity of money on a, on a fully digitalized blockchain-based currency is going to be much greater uh, than the velocity of money, let's say, for cash. They'd be 100% correct. And even for credit, debit, and other electronic forms of money because of the fact that it can be near instantaneous. So that's what velocity of money means.